Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running that camera, as always doing a great job. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Today we're going to make cucumber and onion and tomato salad. It's a fresh thing you can make in the summertime or even winter, but it, one thing that shocked me is you would not believe how many variations of this recipe there are. Some use cucumbers that don't have seeds. Some don't care if there's seeds in there. Tomatoes, boy, the options are, you know, Roma tomatoes or vine ripe tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Some put a lot of sugar, some don't hardly put any. Some put water in it, some don't use water. It is just kind of confusing, but if you'll come on over here, I'll show you the salad that I think is easy to make. It's got a, just a balance of everything, and I think you're really going to love it. Let's get started. Come on over. All right, for this recipe, we're going to use three cucumbers. Two I already got prepped, and I'll show you what I did. I took my little peeler here. Now, some people rip these with a fork, and it just seems like a lot of trouble for me. So I just kind of leave a space... So we leave a strip of green in there. You don't have to be perfect on this, just anything close is fine. Because once you slice it, you'll never really know how perfect of a job you did. And then just split the difference right here, just kind of like that. Then I go over here and just kind of finish up the ends wherever I let go there. There we go. Then we're going to nip the ends of these off here. Let me do a little house cleaning. What? Over here somewhere? There oh, there he is. See, Sheila spots that stuff. She lets me know. We're going to just trim off the ends of these. Like a so. And then we're going to cut these about this thick right here. Not too thin and not too thick. We want them so they absorb a lot of the ingredients, but we don't want them paper thin to where they kind of get mushy. Now, these cucumbers here don't have a lot of seeds in them. It's more kind of like a compact cucumber. And I'll tell you, I just lucked out because I grabbed what was ever on the shelf at Kroger's. And let me get these all sliced up here. So how am I doing, Sheila? You're doing good. It's very pretty. Finishing up the last one. I like all the little green dots. Don't that look cute? Yep, it does. And there's our last cut right there. Get these over here in our bowl. So we're going to use three cucumbers. And we're going to use one onion. Now I've seen all these different recipes in cookbooks and online and everything. Some people use red onions. Some people use white onions. Some people use yellow onions. To me, there is no choice. Sweet Vidalias. Any kind of sweet onion will work, but I love a sweet Vidalia onion. I'm just going to whack the top off each one of these. Cut it right in half. And then just peel the outer layer off here. Again, a little house cleaning so Sheila don't say you missed something. And then I'm just going to slice these pretty thin. Like this, laying that flat side down, because nobody wants a big honking chunk of onion, even if it is sweet. And then what I'm going to do, is then I'm going to break up all these little slices before I pop them in there. Man, that smells so good. Now, of course, you might be watching this video in the winter time on down the line but right now all everybody's gardens are coming in and they've got all these fresh ingredients out in their garden so it's a perfect time to make this recipe for summertime even though you know this may be airing for you you know eight months down the line and it's freezing cold where you're at but still you can make this recipe one I'll just split the difference. Perfect. Break them all up nice. You know I love them little centerpieces. 
you can eat sweet Vidalia like an apple. Mm. That is so delicious. I want to say hi to all the folks from down there in Georgia that come see our show at the Nashville Nightlife Dinner Theater because they bring us Vidalia onions. They actually got a Vidalia onion uh, festival down there where they do everything. Even onion ice cream, if you can believe that. <clears throat> I'm not sure I'll go that route, but... And here's my choice of the tomatoes. I'm still finishing up with that little onion smacking away. I'm going to go with cherry tomatoes because I just think that the more dense a tomato is, the smaller it is, the more dense the flavor is, the more explosive. You get a big tomato, okay, especially if you get hothouse tomatoes. They're... They just don't have much flavor. I love Romas better, but I love these little cherries. And I'm going to cut these endwise. And this may take a few minutes. So I'll be right back as soon as I get all these little tomatoes sliced up here. All right, we're finishing up our last two or three. Now, if it's just me and Sheila at the house, I leave these whole because I like to just pop them in. I like to catch that little pop when you eat them. But if I'm serving them to guests, and especially if there's some kids, I don't want that to be a little airway plug. So I like to slice it in half just in case. That's a lot safer, I think. And these are all done. Now you can find some of these little cherry tomatoes like this that are different colors, which would add some real color to our salad. And I'd say we got a good cup to a cup and a half. You can put as many in or as few of them in you want. I'm going to move this cutting board out of the way here and move my salad up here. Now here is where I like to do a kind of a more of a balance. Some people dump in like two cups of water and all kinds of stuff and I just think that's too much. So we're going to start out with a half a cup of water and a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and don't worry I'll put all the ingredients in the description box below right below the video where it says show more click on that it'll drop down with the entire recipe you never have to go to a website to get any of our ingredients then we're going to put in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil and again here's where some people use no sugar at all and some people will dump in like a cup of sugar and mix it up. I'm using two tablespoons in this recipe. Give it just enough sweet to offset that acidity of that vinegar. And again, some people use two or three teaspoons of salt. I'm using one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to toss this in just a second. But first, here's something that some people don't add at all, and I like it in there, is some dill. And I got to tell you, when I first got this home and I started smelling this, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when my grandma used to make homemade pickles. Because she always threw a dill in each one of them, jars. And that just, boy, that brings back such memories to smell that dill. Even now while I'm cutting it, it just really brings back a lot of memories. We'd get to go down the cellar and get a jar of pickles every time they'd have a big feed up at grandma's house. And we're gonna put in, oh, and this is again up to you, just a kind of a, hmm, you know, a little bit, maybe a heaping tablespoon of dill. Just enough to kind of float around. We don't want it to be real dominant, but just enough to kind of float around in our recipe so it kind of gets on everything, you know what I mean? Isn't that beautiful? Is that beautiful? I almost hate to, it does look great, doesn't it, baby? And I hate to stir this, but I just gotta. So let's toss this around a little bit. And see, I got just enough water and vinegar in the bottom so that when you make a toss like this, it gets on everything. There's plenty down there. You don't need two or three cups of water. Just a half a cup along. See, there's plenty of liquid. See it over there? Can you see that, Sheila? I can. In the edge of the bowl. Plenty of liquid down there. We're going to stir this real good so our dill and our sugar and all of our salt and pepper and everything else gets all around on everything. And then we're going to cover this for about two hours in the refrigerator. And we'll be back 
to give it a little taste and see what we will see. It's looking beautiful. We'll see you then. Ta-da! Nice and chilled. I think just a nice uniform balance of ingredients. Modify it any way you want. You want to put a lot of water in there? Dump it in. You want to put a lot of sugar in there? Dump it in. You see that one little piece of onion there, Sheila? Goodness gracious, he is not going back down to the bottom of the bowl. Mm. Mm. I got to try one of these guys. Mm. You must be able to hear me crunching and smacking back here because this is so good. You're going to love the balance of this. And you know me, when I serve myself a little dish, I'll probably hit it with a little more pepper. But, start out with a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. You can always add more of both, but you can't take it out. What do you think, Sheila? It's really good. Doesn't it look just beautiful? I just keep stirring it because I got all that liquid down there at the bottom that's got sugar in it and vinegar and all kinds of spices. And I just want to roll it up here to the top. Let me give this dill one more smell. It just reminds me of Grandma's house making pickles. Well, I was digging around in there, and Sheila made me go get a fork <laughs> instead of using my fingers. And I'll tell you, I picked up one of these little yellow cherry tomatoes. With the sugar and the vinegar and the dill salt and pepper, all that, and it's been rubbing alongside some cucumber and onion juice. Let me try a little red one here. This is really, really good. I know you're going to enjoy this for your family. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. We did it just for you guys. It's real simple. It's real quick. It's real easy. Do all the little stuff that you like the best. Add more of this, less of that, until it's just perfect. But first try this recipe, and I'll bet you, you might stay pretty close to this, because I think it's just perfect. Hope you enjoyed this recipe, and we really hope you enjoy our channel, and subscribe to our channel. Little Shotgun Red's face is going to pop up over here right at the end of our video. Click on that when it says subscribe, check it, and then of course next to it will be a little bell, or they may change it. YouTube's changes stuff all the time. It could be a little gear or something by now. But click on that, please notify me all the time, icon, whatever it is, and then we'll send you all of our videos. We'll put some over here that we really hope you enjoy, that you can click on as well. It'll show up at the same time Shotgun Red's face shows up, but is this the most delicious cucumber and onion and tomato salad for summertime with all these goodness in here? Not quite as sweet as Sheila, but it does get close. That you ever tried? If it ain't, it ought to be. Did you enjoy this, Sheila? I did. And remember, all the ingredients are never at a website. They're right underneath the video. But if you do want to sneak over to our website, you can always go to shotgunred.com. Click on that. And, of course, we got them Shotgun Red dolls and videos of our show and all kinds of neat stuff. But, man, I'll tell you what, this is a great recipe. I'm glad we made it because Sheila said we're going to put this in the refrigerator and we'll be eating on this for a couple, three days. So, And it lasts a long time in the fridge. That's another thing. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. We didn't do a lot of cooking, but we, we whipped up something good, didn't you think, Sheila? I think so. Say goodnight, Sheila. Good night, Sheila. All right, you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.